This week we're going to do something fun. We're going to create a rust using Patina Collection from Dixie Bell and I'm very excited to dive into this project. So let's go. Oh, I need to, you to like and subscribe. Thanks. I'm going to start this project by cleaning my piece. It's very dirty and dusty and I'm going to use White Lighting by Dixie Bell. piece is completely clean and dry I'm going to start painting it I'm going to use barn red color by Dixie Bell and I'm going to use mini flat brush by Dixie Bell I uh, want this piece to be uh, barn red because I see it as a farmhousey piece, so I think this is going to be perfect color for this piece. paint over hinges and I'm going to paint over hardware. Make sure your first coat is completely dry and you're ready to start your second coat. Now that I have two coats and solid coverage on my piece, I'm going to start creating rust. I'm going to use Patina Collection from Dixie Bell and I'm going to go with iron and that's going to be majority some bronze and copper. This one it's gonna give you the most green so this is the one I'm going to apply the least like just touch here and there bronze let's go oh and I'm going to use the cheap brush just some old cheap brush when your paint is dry you can start adding patina paint You just apply that wherever you want to get the rust look. How much you want, it's totally up to you. You can just do a little bit here and there. You can do uh, a lot. We'll be going every night in the city, always the same. The first thing I do is I go with the coffee bean color and I go wherever I want to be uh, rusted.
and then I go with iron just a touch of bronze because a bronze is going to give me once I spray it's going to give me green and I don't want so much green I want green around the hardware and hinges then when I apply everything and I'm tapping everything everything is like on top of each other and you know nothing is like perfect then I spray the patina sprayer and that's when we leave everything to dry Again, start with coffee bean color, followed by iron, by copper, and then bronze. Once I apply everything, I go with a patina spray. With this, you really don't know what you're gonna get. Like, you have kind of idea, but not for sure because spray does its own work now i'm going to uh, add some more shading uh, around the piece using coffee bean going to put some coffee bean on edges, corners, uh, around the hardware, just wherever I want it to look darker. I'm gonna put a lot because I'm going to go back with a red and make it look good. Patina collection, I sprayed everything, I left overnight and uh, this is what I came to, uh, well, this is what I found. Now I'm going to use the same brush to smooth everything out, uh, to just tie everything together. Now it's looking like a little scary, but that is just a normal process. Wait a second, don't you know? You're messing with my sense I went all over the rust here and there, touch it up wherever I felt like need a little bit red because you want it to look like real, like the piece really rusted so we can still see here and there red color at the bottom. went way too high with the rust which is fine because it's a process so it was easier for me to create more rust and then take away what I don't want Hold on, wait a second, don't you know that you're always on my I 
I went with a coffee bean and I put on the corners of the drawers, on the doors, uh, wherever I wanted to age it, I added coffee bean by dry brushing. So I'm just working in sections here. So I'm done and I'm happy how the rust looks and now I'm going to distress it because um, it paint looks too perfect like the bottom is way too rusted so to match that we're gonna distress it everywhere a little bit not too nothing too crazy but just enough to match the rusted bottom I'm going to use 120 grit to distress my piece because I want to go it faster and I'm going to wipe off with a cloth uh, to get rid of the dust. It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your peace, peace. Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me peace. Like you have no options I ain't take your options no, I'm not the problem, man, that's on you, yeah You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong I knew you lost your mind when you dropped that bomb So now that uh, I distress my section, I'm going to apply uh, spray wax and then I'm going to apply black wax It's you Stole your peace, put it on me. But baby, it's you. Lying like a rat, but take your stuff back. Baby, it's, it's much better to spray one little section and then apply black wax right after. So, spray and don't wipe, go directly with black wax on top of that sprayed wax. It's you. Whatever and I would never hear. You've been flexing everywhere Girl, look in the mirror Now that I'm done with everything I'm looking on my piece and I'm like Something is missing around the hardware And that is gold I'm going with gold gilding wax Warm gold And I'm going to just lightly Like just put just a little bit Just a touch of it on me but baby, it's you Lying like a rat But take your stuff back Baby, it's you furniture sometimes the inside is in perfect shape but can be dry because of what is uh, treated for years so great solution for that is Big Mama's Bada smells like orange grove and I absolutely loving this thing never saw your just smells like for all oranges and it smells, smells for days so I love working with this
more about uh, what went behind creating this piece, why I choose, what I choose, and much more. Join me uh, to catch a podcast 6 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, and I will be talking about this piece, techniques, Dixiebel products, and much more. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave me a comment below, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope to see you next Friday and bring you new project and new idea. Bye.